Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. We'll continue with our SQL Accounting System training. And today's lesson, we'll talk about Supplier Invoice. So we go to SQL Accounting System, we go to Supplier, and this is the Supplier Invoice. Now, normally, um, you will key in the Supplier Invoice as a Purchase Invoice in the Purchasing module if there is a stock. If there's no stock involved, then maybe you can key in directly as supplier invoice. So the same things, you just go to um, supply invoice and you can search all the previous invoice using the invoice number. If you remember, else you can use the supplier name to search or any other column as a searching criteria. If the searching criteria you want to use is not here, what you can do is right click any of this column title then go to few chooser pull out a few that you want let's say area then you can use area as a searching criteria over here is also the fastest way for you to know that is there any outstanding from you to the supplier so let's create a supply invoice so what you need to do is select the supplier for example like this so by typing the name you can get it because the focus is now at company name if you tell me brian i cannot get the supplier meaning your focus is run away already now it's at company name too because this is bold so what you need to do is just clear off what you have typed click the tab key on your keyboard it will switch to another column tap again tap again go to company name if you can't remember the full name of the supplier click at this a then you move to the middle and whatever you type let's say um SQL or you type communication as long as what you type appear in any part of the company name it will appear so let's select Maxis so all this will auto run same things for invoice number you must use your supplier invoice and you can only key in your supplier invoice if you have received the invoice because if not then you should not key because you will, be, you will claim input tax you can only claim input tax if you, if you receive the tax invoice from supplier so over here what you need to do is click at the plus then select the account same thing you can use the description of the account to search let's say purchase So because this is an internal document, you do not need to print out, so you just need to save. Now, there's one very interesting thing that um, many people will use supplier invoice is they'll maintain other suppliers, non-trade supplier as other supplier, and then they'll key in the expenses over here. So the way to do that is go to GL, maintain your account, and go to current liabilities you can see others creditors edit it and make the others creditor to become a supplier control account then what you need to do is go to supplier maintain supplier and maintain a supplier name called in water for example Okay, in that water consortium. Okay, so you have this supplier, and please remember to change the control account to become other creditors. You can only select other creditors over here if you have changed the other creditor in maintain chart account become a supplier control account. Okay, then the next thing is go to supplier invoice, create a new invoice. And this time you select in that water so instead of purchase account you can select the in that water account which you should already create under maintain chart account so if not just go to GL maintain chart account go to expenses if you still remember how to create an account so the running number is 923 we create a new one called 924-000 main account 
called in the water. Okay, you can preset the text code as let's say TX if you want to. Okay, so over here during the supply invoice, you can just type in in the water, and the text code will appear, and you can put in the amount or change the text code or so on. So save it. Now, what happened is oh, sorry. Remember to change the invoice number according to the Indian water bill. Now, what happened is you have not paid the Indian water bill, but because you already received the bill, meaning that you already can claim the input tax. And by doing this later, when we go for supplier payment, you can see it's very easy for you to recognize that there is a bill that you have not paid. Unlike you need to use accrual account and it's a bit confusing for non-accounting personnel. So this is how you maintain a supplier invoice. And if you do have time, please drop by at my Facebook. It's facebook.com slash syntax technologies. Help me to like my page. Then can get all the latest information regarding SQL and also GST or you can drop by at my website is syntech.com.by go to YouTube and you can have all the previous SQL accounting system tutorial video and once again I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies thank you